Um, we're in Ardmona. My name is Stuart Gorn, dairy farmer. I uh, lived in Ardmona all my life. Um, we farm here as a with my wife Diane and a son Shane who does all the, the management and I'm the gopher. I fill the holes and I do a very good job of that. We're in the uh, Golden Valley 1A irrigation district. Uh, Tatura is our um, centre where we order all our water. Um, most of our water comes out of uh, Ranga Basin and at Golden Weir, so we're on that system. Our, our enterprise here is dairying. Uh, we're pretty intense for the amount of acres we've got, so we tend to cut and carry a lot of fodder. Um, we grow a lot of uh, our own, but we do buy in all our grain, all our um, grain that we use, lupins and wheat and uh, any other products that we can get uh, at value. This uh, project evolved out of a audit that we had done from Tatura Milk and it's a very thorough audit and it incorporated effluent management. They thought that our effluent management was good and they would like to do some trials here and which we agreed to and then Nico Halloran got involved and uh, Tom McDonald from Michuka got involved and we had a, a couple of field days. Um, another training day we had here with uh, Dairy Food Safe Victoria and EPA um, people came along and we uh, just opened our farm to, to them and it was a very successful day and Tom, Tom had, has done a great job on uh, his research and his um, application of all uh, the needs of this project. Uh, Nick arranged to come and do uh, a series of, uh, of nutrient testing of, of our effluent, of our stored compost, of our paddocks that we were putting it on, the history of the paddocks, and he was very thorough in his uh, collection of sampling, which really impressed me because we've had other people come out and do uh, similar testing wanting to buy our compost or effluent uh, re residuals, which we have never sold because we feel the value was always more or of more value to us rather than to sell it. So when Nick, he spent a lot of effort sampling and when we got the results back, we could trust those those results as being a good reflection of what we actually had on the ground. After we got the nutrient values back of all this, uh, of the uh, soil samples, Nick suggested that we could have a field day, which we agreed to, and it was a very successful day. Um, a lot of feedback from people that after the field day got back to us, wanting to know mainly about the values in monetary terms of per cubic metre, which we were very interested in, and it appeared a lot of people were interested in justifying what we were doing. Now at the field day, we had um, uh, Tom led the, the discussion, and um, Scott McDonald actually spoke too about it. Very interesting was the costing that he had done. He'd gone through from the costing of us drawing the, the um, compost or the, the, the cow manure and piling it up, drying it, turning it, and then he even costed um, the cost of putting it on a paddock. The soil, uh, the identification of the, of the limitations of the amount of effluent um, we could put on the paddocks was very interesting, um, which we need to watch pretty intensely. We, we're rotating all our farm um, making sure that we get an even spread of that nutrient around all the farm, which we're lucky we can put that effluent in a liquid form on all our farm or on a, as a dry form, we can spread it wherever we like on our uh, out, uh, blocks. We cart it there, we just finished doing around about uh, 800 cubic metres went where we're going to sow uh, some maize. Um, so the strategy we've got in place now is, is 
that we're, we're putting it all around, um, making sure that we don't overload any areas. And with some of the dairy farmers around, the the effluent gets put on the closer paddocks and after a while we, we, get, uh, we run into problems with that. So we're trying to steer away from those problems. We actually look at that effluent and a, as a major resource to our farm, uh, which a lot of the, um, the people at the uh, field day were very interested on our purchased uh, fertilizer history and they could understand we were growing a fair bit of grass and we only had bought a four tonne of nitrogen for the year. The field days went very well, very well run. We didn't have to, Tom organised everything. Well, we hope that there is a follow up to the, to the field day and, and Tom's work. Um, we've only recently uh, finished up with the uh, project, um, but we're implementing all that we learned at that time so we're another year down the track and we're seeing good results and uh, very pleased with it.